AI, since we haven't spoken about it yet, what what are you doing uh, on that front? How is it changing things for you? Where are you on adoption? So it's very... And uh, how does it help the results and the outcomes? <laughs> so I think for, uh, you know, surveillance activities, uh, we have been uh, deploying AI-based capabilities such as uh, people detection in both day and night uh, videos uh, for about three, four years now. Okay. So we have developed that capability with our partners. So that is one part that we've been doing for some time. Mm. Now it is moving to the next level where it is going to become multi, uh, you know, multi object detection. Mm. It's going to become uh, triggers based on that, tracking based on that. So on the outcome side, it's going to become more involved. On the input side of things, what is needed to fly the drone. Mm. For example, we've recently developed a AI based visual inertial navigation solution okay. that allows you to operate even when GPS is not there. So those kind of capabilities are also coming on board. What potentially could the revenue mix be in terms of both civil use as well as uh, defense use as far as your drones are concerned? I mean, what's the aspiration that you're working with? Defense at maturity, maybe about 30 to 40% of the overall uh, business in drones. Uh, civil other uses will be about another uh, 30 odd percent of the drone business and there is a very interesting chunk of mobility logistics mm, mm. that's going to occupy a pretty large chunk in the future because that's an area where scale is I would say largely private mm. and it is a very important area of uh, exploration yeah it and it is the most regulatory uh, regulatory wise limited huh. and also it is limited by particularly ROI in this case because uh, it is not obvious right now how delivering from drones will be less expensive than what we are getting from uh, yeah. a big basket today or yeah. a blanket yeah. Or a blink it. yeah. So that is something which uh, is not clear uh, yet in terms of ROI on that piece for last mile. But for middle mile and uh, logistics for middle mile from hub to hub mm. and many of those operations as it becomes autonomous, as it is allowed for operations, uh, it will be something that will bring in a massive revolution uh, in this space as well. Hmm. So uh, we are looking for very exciting times. I, is that something you're betting on or working Yeah, towards? actually we're building a logistics platform. Uh, we're building a drone that can uh, potentially do anywhere between 50 to 200 kilo, uh, kgs of payload capacity capable of operating at the highest altitude of even more than 6,500 meters. Okay. So we are talking about uh, a very, very capable drone that can do uh, something that both our defense forces would need mm. at very high altitudes, mm. as well as uh, what's going to be required for hub-to-hub -hub middle mile logistics in other areas as well.